Good morning, y'all, from City Center to Lat. <laughs> no intro needed. Y'all are gonna like this first spot. We were up early. It's 6.15. We're about to get some breakfast. Shall we stand call? <laughs> come, come. Làm cô ngày hôm nay á, trong hai đứa tới nè, bị đeo cái đồng hồ vô nè, trang sức nè. <cười> Để xí sọn cái hai đứa con, hiểu không? Há hết từ ngày hôm qua đến giờ luôn á. See I'm talking about, isn't she the cutest? God, I love this lady. Uh, oh, got that down. Để bây giờ quay nè, quay hai, hai đứa mình nắm tay nhau nè. Này của con luôn nè, về cho hai đứa ăn. Cô há hết giờ đợi con thì mình... Ngon nha. Để tủ lạnh rồi nha, lát hồi về hai đứa ăn với nhau yeah. Cho vui với cô xưa Này, phải sức nước hoa thơm thật là thơm <cười> See, uh, she's selling the famous banh mì siu mai She also has a nui, which is a type of pasta And with the banh mì siu mai, you can actually get it here or you can get to go Or she'll stuff it in a banh mì Looks like she's got some chai or Vietnamese sausage and some chai bong, which is the dried pork floss. Cô, em có hỏi, bán bà rào rồi? À, mới bán xong. Bán được bà rào rồi? Làm sao? À, bán 60 năm rồi. 60 năm Cái rồi. này 40 năm. Ừ. Cái này 60 năm, bán từ khi còn bé. Cô sẽ bán từ mấy giờ đến mấy giờ? Ngày xưa là bán từ 6 giờ đến 12 giờ đêm hồi xưa. Wow. Sau giải phóng rồi chỉ có bán từ 6 giờ tới 10 giờ thôi. Ok, nhớ rồi, nhớ rồi, cảm ơn nha. Ui ơi, là vui luôn. <cười> Sáng nay dậy ha, biết sao không? Ah. So you heard her. You gotta get here early if you want to eat this bun mi, siu mai, or any of her nui. You gotta get here and wake up early and set that alarm clock. Cho anh chàng, dễ thương không? And she told me she was so excited because I talked to her a couple days ago. I said, can I come and film? She said, yes. She got us some apples and everything to try. She bought it. She's just, uh, this, she's the type of person that she's worth waking up early for. Come here, come see. Hmm. Okay, so I always like to add a little bit of her chili oil. She always tells me it's super, super hot. I'm give just a tiny little squeeze of a little lime here. Crispy bun mei. I wish you could hear that beautiful sound. Dipping all of that. Ooh. It's just the best in the lab. It is so delicious. Oh, come on, Cornia. Yeah. And she's gonna take care of you, trust me. She is just like your own family member. She's so loving, so caring. She's the absolute best. Eat it with a little bit of the actual shumai this time. Pour that sauce on there. Look at that, all that cilantro hanging off there. Mm. So she give me something else already. And the best part about hers is, it's not those tiny bowls you get in other places. She gives you family portion bowls here. Hmm. Hai đứa một cái. 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 So she's actually got mayonnaise in the tung ut here, which is a chili sauce. So I'm gonna get a little bit of everything here. Bun mi shu mai, all the sauces I can. All that together is the money buy. That's what I would come here for. I have only ordered bun mi shu mai. And now we got the egg, we got the sauces, and now she's like, well, you can't come here and not try my pasta. It's just how she is. 
Like every time I come here, she's like, you can't eat banh mi shu mai without pasta. So whether you order it or not, like I've always gotten it. Now we got a table full of food. So this is the nui, like I said, it was just a pasta, and this is like a Vietnamese childhood dish. This is like what you eat as a child. So let's go in here, got a little bit of chili. I mean, look at it. She adds a lot of her pork here. You'll see the pork skin and the shumai, but this almost looks like little pieces of just like the ya hiel that she's taken and thrown in here. Perfect for a cold morning in the light. Kind of see almost everybody snacking on it. chunks of slow roasted pork in there. Mm. I don't even think this is something she sells, but she gave me the boiled egg. She said, you gotta eat it with the black pepper. You know, if she gives me something, I don't care how full I am, I'll make sure I eat it. I must say, it's probably the best I've ever peeled an egg. I'm happy I did it while I was on camera. I'm not left-handed. Take a bite. I'm going out. Now I'm gonna call it right here. This is the best banh mi shu mai you'll eat in all of Vietnam. It's got the experience, it's got the taste, it's got everything. Actually, when I eat here, I'm reminded of a bit me saying, "Ăn hoa nhớ." Catch on K, which pretty much means like when you eat the fruit, reminded, be reminded of the person who planted the tree. So be grateful for food you have. Like she makes me so grateful for that meal, and that's what it's all about. You know, be humble, remember where your food comes from, be very thankful for it. Alright, so you can't come to Vietnam and not enjoy this part of local life, the caffeine part of it. So I'm right kind of pretty much city center just above the market going to one of my favorite little coffee shops. Not only for its delicious coffee, but I just love the location and the vibes it gives off. Now, but a good coffee shop is nothing without its coffee and this. That cafe so that is a cafe in Vietnam that gets you dangerously addicted. Okay, so we got something just a little bit different for today. We're at a very nice restaurant that specializes in everything ca hoi or the salmon. You come here, you can get sashimi, you can get salmon eggs, you can get hot pot, you can get grilled salmon, you can get it any way you like it. You can have it over here, you can have it over there. I'm telling y'all, the options are endless. And it's got a cool story. It's kind of humble beginnings. It used to be a nice, small local restaurant, and now they built this beautiful, beautiful restaurant that, well, probably one of the best views in the lab. So let's get in here and check out the view. Why oh, there's still daylight. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? The building's like completely made out of glass. And this just the first floor. Let's go up, it gets better. Now that's kind of what you pay for. It is a little priced a little bit higher here, but that's okay. If you sit up here and it's a beautiful day, sometimes it's worth it. I mean, pay a little bit extra, eat that salmon. And what's really cool is they do have this outside section right here, which 
you know, maybe the weather's not nice, you don't want to sit outside, it's fine, because even sitting inside kind of feels like outside with the windows so big, but I like being out here because you get the actual noises of the bikes going by on this pretty busy road right here. Reminds me that it's, it's not too fancy. So, extensive menu here. You show me how many ways we can get uh, the salmon. This could take a minute. We'll figure it out. Okay, it is all here. It was getting cold in the last, so we had to get a lowel. Having that, that heat, that flame on you, you're gonna need it tonight because it rained early, it's gonna be super cold. Also, what we got is we got the salmon in a butter and uh, not a lime, a lemon, and lemon sauce, and then we got the sashimi salmon, and then we got the, actually the eggs of the salmon with, which, you know, I'm not trying to judge or anything, but it's probably how we'd eat it from the south. This is red nicked up. We got a piece of plain white bread with some butter. So I also forgot to mention, all the salmon is coming from Norway. That is just too much fun to eat for me. That is white bread with some butter and then the briny burst of those salmon eggs. <laughs> I just can't get over how, I feel like that's how we would take the salmon egg ingredient and make it, white bread and butter. It's simple, it's simply delicious as well. a little bit for the sashimi so we need to get after it. Just a tiny little dip. Just one of the best fishes you can get. All that fat that it naturally has in it, it melts in your mouth. You see that marbling? There's no tough tissue in it or anything like that. And honestly, I got too much soy sauce and wasabi because that is high quality. They don't need much. And slow, this has been cooking for a little bit. Boom, so they have many different flavored lowels you can get. We actually got ours with the bamboo shoot, and then I do believe a little bit sour version. What they do, they have like a Thai flavor. They have, well, I forgot every flavor they have, but trust me, they have many options that you can get. This just sound the best. You need to get in here and get some of this out and get some of the veg in there. It's been cooking a little bit too long. I think it's just because it has the bamboo shoots, but it reminds me a lot of a broth from Nogue except this is, it's milkier. I wonder if they're actually using a lot of bones from a pork or something to make this. It's got that iconic bamboo shoot flavor. It's a little bit sour, it's sweet. It's got this earthy component to it. Let's get some of the salmon out of it. Just dip it in my, not my soy sauce, dip in my fish sauce and chili. I told you this and this for melting your mouth. That from the hot pot, the salmon from the hot pot is different. It's on another level. It's making these two look like amateurs. Well, maybe I was wrong because I got lemon here. I thought it would be lime. Oh, look at that, that sauce. I think it's peanut, onion, tomato, all cooked down, some scallions. It's gonna be a butter. And what I thought was a lemon, but they got limes here, so now I'm super confused. And you can't hear this, but that skin of the salmon is just crunching when you try to break this piece apart. Oh. That's the first time I've had it with a lime. It is a lime in a butter sauce in there, but then they got the sweetness coming from the tomatoes and the onion and the little bit of downfall for this crunch. It becomes like creamy. It is 
crazy. So many different textures, taking a high quality ingredient. Oh wow, that was, that was good. Oh my God. Number one rule with Vietnamese cuisine, whether you think it can be wrapped or if it can't be wrapped, you wrap it. Ooh. Like I said, the best time to come here, a beautiful day or check this out. I'm stuck in between chairs, I ate too much. Ah, squeeze through there. Look at the sunset. That's what it's all about. That's when you know you're into light. Look at them clouds. If it has not rained, you are destined to have just a beautiful sunset. And it's coming from always. This is pure windows. Such a great place to come on a beautiful day in Delat to eat. Enjoy something I don't know where else you would find in Delat. So a win-win. That's gonna do it for this video, but we got a lot more coming from Delat. City I love, city I've been living in for a while, so I got a lot planned for y'all. Anyways, to the max, catch you at the next one. Peace.